Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we've got news and today's news is, you know, definitely already, you know, it's coming from the guys at Epic Games. Every single week, these guys just, they just don't want to rest. Since the whole year, like I said in the last video, these guys just keep releasing tons and tons of news. So today's news has to do with Epic Games and Otoy, the company that makes, manage, distribute and also license the Octane renderer. So there is now going to be an Octane renderer for Unreal Engine 4. Not so long ago, we got to cover a couple of news and you know, we covered some stuff that has to do with Unreal, which I went on to say that the guys at Unreal, they just keep delivering new content every, every week. We've seen their support for Magzan, we've also seen their support for V-Ray, and we've also seen their support for the guys at Blender, uh, Blender Foundation. So there's just a lot of things that's happening. All of these updates are in the description. You can go ahead and check them out if you want. But today we're seeing that there is now going to be something way more incredible. We already know that Unreal Engine is like the world's best AAA game engine hands down. And we already know that the Octane Renderer is one of the best GPU renderers when it comes to, you know, path tracing, ray tracing, and, you know, making unbiased rendering. This tool is so cool. I mean, the renderer is way so cool that you definitely need to go ahead and try it. But then, of course, you need a very good GPU. And so this announcement is happening following the C graph that's just ending. And of course, there is just a lot of fun that we can go ahead and play with. But first off, let's talk about the features that are coming to Unreal from the guys at Otoy. So first and foremost, the Octane renderer will be fully integrated into the Unreal Engine. And of course, it's not just integrating into the Unreal Engine that's the problem. It's also going to be integrated with the Node Editor and you can also have some very clean, sweet and lovely intuitive scene navigation for easy accessibility for render passes and all that stuff. There's also going to be a very quick and clean automatic conversion of Unreal Engine scenes and materials into Octane Renderer. Also went on to say that there's going to be a full AL light, AL scene, AL spectral and volumetric denoising which will be supported in the new release or in this new installment that is coming. There's also going to be an out of core geometry. Udim support is there. We've already covered the news about stuff that will be coming to substance painter and so in case you don't know uh, substance painter they've just gonna have to announce that udim will be coming to substance painter link to that news is also going to be in the description and way more things that will be coming is uh there's going to be an ability for you to use the otoy obex scene format so you can simply just drag and drop your your scene directly into unreal and open it up and of course this is going to make your life way more easier especially if you're already working with octane renderer or if you want to get the most out of octane renderer and you're working with unreal engine definitely you can you know get the best of both worlds and one other thing is that the octane vectron and spectron which gives you the ability to use procedural node-based volumetric geometry and lighting technology would also be integrated into this stuff so how cool is that this is something that i really really think you know a lot of people can get the best out of so in case you're into architectural rendering and you know you want to do your whole thing in unreal engine or let's say you're indie filmmaker or your game designer you want to do that very interesting trailer and you just don't want to deal with the kind of rendering that's coming out of unreal of course you can make the most out of this by just simply you know using the octane renderer that exists right now links to all this is going to be in the description so you can check this out if you want to download this you can go ahead and get a free version which you can try so you there's a free version that's available which you can go ahead and try out and see for yourself from the release note here you can see that the ceo and co-founder of otoy actually went on to say that the release of octane for unreal engine the world's leading triple a game engine comes at a very exciting time for the industry with the emergence of ray tracing hardware this year. I guess he's talking about the RTX and we now have a pathway to finally bring cinematic and real-time pipelines together for millions of artists. And this is something a lot of people would be super excited about. So it doesn't matter if you're using Cinema 4D, 3D Studio Max or Maya, or it doesn't really matter if you're working with Blender because Otoy actually now has a support for Blender, which you would be seeing very, very soon. All right, so it doesn't matter if you're working with any of these. Of course, you can just simply drag these things and drop them 
directly there so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section which of these updates are you mostly excited about and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and turn on notification and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace